Hello my friends, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. We are going to be looking at some lipsticks from MAC. MAC has launched some new lipsticks. These are called Luster Glass Lipstick. So I believe these are reformulated because I've never tried MAC's uh, lipsticks in the Luster Glass finish. I've tried their uh, Amplified, I've tried their Matte, Satin. There are a lot more too, I think. There are like very sheer lipsticks with some little glitter in them too. And then there's like a frost finish. So I've tried them, most of them, I believe, but not the Lustro Glass. So I was like, I got curious and they are reformulated. So I was like, let's give it a try. So before we get into the swatches, I did do a um, tutorial on this makeup look. It's very tropical makeup look. There's yellow, there's green, teal. And then purple lips and like a bluish purple also in my eye look so you can take a look at that tutorial and see how I achieve this look and if you love this video give this video a thumbs up and interact with me I would love it and YouTube also loves it uh, interact with me by giving it likes commenting subscribe if you haven't already and yeah let's get into it guys so this retails for $22 and luster glass i believe there are lots of colors i'm at least like 10 more than 10 colors guys for sure i didn't really count and like make note of it but i'm positive there are like more than 10 colors at least 10 colors for sure and mac is always really 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 amazing with their color selection color range and covering all the skin tones so yeah i picked up two colors this is and i think there were also lots of like uh, repeats like um like popular colors like i don't even remember but i saw color syrup or something like that some popular very very popular colors that have made a comeback in this collection so if you love those like og mac shades definitely take a peek at this collection and see if you like love this uh, a shade that you love if it's come back or not. So I got two shades. This is 547. Five, yeah, 547 Pigment of Your Imagination. And then I got Can't Dull My Shine. So one is, and, and the boxes are also color coded. So this is like brown, as you can see. I just could not say no to this tone of brown. It, it's so caramelly and so golden it's so pretty and then this is like a i don't know like a plum pink uh and mauve too it, it looked really pretty online so i got two so you get three grams of product standard mac lipsticks and then um these retail for 22 dollars and yeah and i also wanted to quickly compare them with these max love me liquid lip color i'll tell you why after i like do the try on i'll tell you why i wanted to compare because well i i could tell you right now too it, this is what i thought of when i first put them on <laughs> that's basically why but i wanted to compare and tell you guys with which is better basically so yeah let's get into the swatching so I'm going to take this off. What I have on is Bite Beauty's A Size Smash. I guess, I think I should come closer, right? Oh wait, before that, let me tell you where this is made. So $22, three grams of product. Most of them are made in Canada. This is made in Canada too. The lipsticks are usually made in Canada. So let's get closer. All right, guys, I'm very, very close to your face. So uh, let's see the, um, you know, the, packaging usually it's kind of like uh, matte this is kind of glossy um, and then it says Mac right there and there's standard the packaging is the same standard bullet and then it's very very glossy in here and there we go that's a lipstick it's a very very pretty color it's such a beautiful pinky plum color and let me quickly show you the other one oops things are just rolling over So that's a brown that I true. I mean, there's also like another darker brown. I didn't pick it because it's it's gorgeous, but I just like bought so many browns recently that it's like slow your roll. Let's finish the browns or at least use it at least a little bit before we buy more browns. So let's just do quick swatches. 
This is a pigment of my ima of your imagination. So that is it's a sheer lipstick for sure. That's one swatch. Let's do a two. Two is much better. There's like a significant uh, like improvement. And then that is three four. Now it's kind of almost opaque. I would say that's a very pretty color. A tone. It almost it basically looks kind of pink uh, on darker skin tone. I think. Let's do it on the lips. Uh, actually, my lips are not bad. They're quite moisturized, but still there's always bound to be some kind of like a dry, tiny bit of dryness here or there. So you'd be able to see. So that is one swipe. I think they really nailed the color. This is a, a perfect, honestly, the tone of pink and plum is so beautiful that you don't even see the plum in it. It's like pink and it looks just like a pink lipstick on a dark on a darker skin tone skin tone so it's not very darker it's not very berry it's not very like uh i don't know muted it's actually i really like the combination of pink and the plum there the plum really uh, i don't know um tunes that pink color to uh, to suit darker skin tone if that makes sense otherwise it's just like if you just apply pink it's kind of like I don't know, for me at least it clashes, but I feel that plum in the pink kind of like tunes that pink, like so that it like perfectly matches darker skin tones. Like I just like went really deep in <laughs> that explanation. <laughs> but I think I make sense. There is some sense to it. So this is what it looks like. And yeah. So that is uh, pigment, not figment. I was about to say figment. Pigment of your imagination. Very, very, very beautiful pink shade. Let's take that off. And I really like the brown too. I think I'm very happy with the colors that I picked. Such a beautiful, that is just one swipe. The brown I feel obviously is more... Um, I don't know if the if the brown is more pigmented or it re because my skin tone is also brown it kind of like really looks opaque on my skin tone so that is what it looks like and it's very very like it definitely has yellow in it too like that I do feel brown is a little bit more pigmented it really looks like my actual lips if you just put like one layer on so yeah look at that it just looks like I have like a concealer kind of a lips going on but you know in a very flattering way so this is can't dull my shine so those are the two colors that I picked up let's talk about the consistency in the formula and wear and everything so the consistency is very thin as you can see and the opacity is also kind of not opaque. It's not completely because it's a luster glass. It's a sheer lipstick, but you can absolutely build it up. It doesn't, you don't have to go back and forth for a brown color on my skin tone and, and also my lips are much darker. So for a brown color, two swipes should do the trick to be honest. But for a pinky tone lipstick, I would say like three or four swipes Across your lips would give you like a beautiful pigment like that pop of pink is gonna be there but still it's not gonna be like like as if like a lipstick was painted over your lips you know what I mean it's going to be very lightweight and very like uh, very spring ready I feel but we are inching towards fall and they're launching it right now but yeah very spring and summer kind of a lipstick very lightweight very very good but it's not very, very opaque and I want to say it goes on smoothly and if you don't have uh, like right now my lips is quite good but I wouldn't say it's like rid of any kind of like a dry patches and I do have like dry patches here and there but still the brown shade did not cling on to any kind of the dry patch but the pink color was clinging slightly just slightly not not too not too crazy but 
with one swipe when it was sheer you can kind of tell like really close up if you come closer you can tell that i have dry patches all the spots where i had dry patches you can tell when i put the pink color just one swipe but when i did like two or three swipes that kind of like evened out and it kind of looked really polished and really it gave like a very finished look so that's kind of my assessment on both the colors they are kind of different because the pink is like lighter when compared to my natural skin natural lip color is much darker than the pink so like uh and it is sheer so dry patches are bound to like kind of accentuate it but that that, that only accentuate was accentuated only with one like layer you know what i mean with two or three layers it just kind of evened out and it's pretty good it, the consistency is thin, but it's not very opaque. But if you're looking for a very, very lightweight lipstick, but opaque, completely opaque. I'm talking about like a good, creamy, opaque, like completely 100% opaque formula. This kind of, when I put this on, the consistency and the how lightweight it was, I, I, I got reminded of this one. This is the MAC Love Me Liquid Lip Color. Let me just swatch this once to show you how opaque that is look at that it's completely opaque it's so opaque but it's incredibly lightweight the consistency is so thin it's like i don't know how can a lipstick be so thin and so lightweight and so opaque it's kind of like it's a mystery but i, I got reminded of this this is like a great alternative if you're looking for a lipstick that is completely opaque but if this is what you're looking for where the lipstick is like kind of like lightweight very um and also on the she on the sheerer side because they do have like darker shades like uh cockney yes cockney i think is a very popular color there's cockney in this um this uh you know um this collection the luster glass and also ladybug ladybug was also is also a very popular like sheer red shade that is also in the collection i'm just like names are just coming up in my brain right now but yeah so mm, i personally between the luster glass and this i kind of leaning towards love me because i i don't know i like opaque lipsticks so i guess that's why i'm leaning towards this one but um yeah the longevity on the Luster Glass, not that great, to be honest, because it is a sheer lipstick to begin with, and it's very lightweight, and it, it does, like, wear off. But obviously, you can put it on. And also, the reason I'm leaning towards the Love Me lipstick is because it is a liquid lipstick. I can use it, to like, all year round. I usually, like, shift towards liquid lipsticks during the summer season because my lipsticks usually just melt in the car or in the bag, wherever it is. It kind of melts and it like destroys and so it becomes a complete waste so i kind of lean towards liquid lipstick during the summer times and usually regular bullet lipsticks during the winter and the colder months so for me i like this but yeah you do you so that's kind of my roundup on the formula tell me what you guys think are you gonna buy it so yeah I think that's it let's head over to the tutorial section guys nice. let's get ready i had some technical difficulties so i kind of already put some eyeshadow on my eyes i did i used this yellow shade right here so as you can see my eye look is kind of different at least i've never tried this yeah i think i have tried like that very yellow yellow gold like a couple of years ago it was like very very popular i have tried that and like a very rich purple but not this like a pastel purple and this yellow no it's really really good and oh i i put this uh yellow and then i'm gonna be using this pistachio green very pretty i've used it so much i promise when i first saw this uh palette i was like i'm never gonna be using that green i don't know it's such a waste it's gonna be it's, it's just gonna go to waste but look at how stunning that pistachio green is and so pigmented and so true to what you see look at that let me show you that green in the pan and that green in the eyes look at that it's exactly the same vizier shadows are unbelievably good so my inspiration for this look is actually a game spot it i don't know if you guys have played this i used to play with my niece and nephew and never really like observed the color combination before but 
I'm gonna be using this dark teal but this time I bought uh, the game for my own kids and I was like what a gorgeous color combination I've never seen I've never put those two colors in my eyes before I have tried like I said like a, a couple of years ago like that very yellow yellow gold was so popular so i have like put that yellow gold and a very very rich purple together but i've never really put this yellow it's i, I don't know this is not a gold per se it's like a yellow with a shift of like a peach and a pastel purple it's so pretty i really like it so that's that's what i have on my eyes i'm gonna be using um like a detailed brush a liner brush and we just gonna do the same color combination the lower lash line taking the dark teal and cutting it in the lower lash line like a liner so yeah I'm so excited I tried different kinds of like golds and purples but I really liked this to this this exact tone of yellow and this exact tone of purple because I don't know the rest felt like gold but this color looks like yellow so on my eyes I'm sorry on my lips I was gonna say it's so incredibly glossy it is T28 uh, lip jelly okay tower 28 that's what I meant to say I'm gonna be using some pistachio green lower lash line and blend it out it definitely needs some cleaning to be done Oops. So yeah, so I'm gonna be, we'll, we'll do the cleaning after the entire look. So just excuse this big, I don't know, green raccoon, should I say, uh, a I, I have going on. So I'm gonna be using, um, what is this called? These are Cleona shadows. Yes, they, they're just like uh, sight, right? So beautiful. I'm gonna be using this shade and these two right next to each other. Coincidentally, I had them right next to each other, but I never put them together at all. So, then I think, I don't know what this is called exactly. I will put the names down below. I believe it's called Throne. Such a pretty, pretty color. Look at that. If, you, if I apply it sheerly, you can see the peach, but if I use my finger, hang on, you're going to see the yellow come through. Look at that. It just turned yellow, but in person, it looks so beautifully peach as well. And that shift that you see is also the same color. So I'm going to be using that and then the color. I believe these two shades are from the same. Um, you know how Cleona has many little small collections inside their stained glass collection. So this is in, uh, this is like, I'm not sure what this is called exactly. They have so many different names, guys. I just bought everything. <laughs> I don't know their names. I have to look it up. So that is that stunning purple. It definitely shifts also green. I'm gonna be putting it there, right there. Don't know if you can see the green. In person, you can see it. Oh my gosh, so, so beautiful. I just love this combination. This is the second time, I, I, like, like I said, um, I have, I, I did like try to recreate this combination with different like tones of yellow and purples, but this is like the best thing I liked. And for the inner corner highlighter, I'm gonna be using, I'm not sure what this is guys. Again, this is Iridescent Multichromes from Cleona again. I don't know their name. I'm just gonna be applying it. I will look it up and definitely put the names down below in the description box. So that is it. That is uh, basically the eyeshadow tutorial. So I'm going to go and put on my mascara, eyeliner, and also clean up this and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I am back. Liner, mascara, all done. Um, my the oils in my face were getting a little out of control so I already I went ahead and I set my face with Laura Geller's uh, baked balance and brighten uh, in the shade deep so it's it's kind of on it, it's all right right now so let's fill our cheeks this is NARS I've been really really enjoying this palette um, this is like a 
watermelon colored blush palette strictly speaking this is basically watermelon colors very very pretty let me show it to you look at that so pretty such pretty pretty colors and so glossy as well so i love them i've been enjoying them so much so i'm going to be using this color for my cheeks and there is like a very subtle i don't even know what this blush brush is to be honest I'm just just putting things on my cheeks this probably is not even the right brush because it's not distributing product the way i want it to but it's okay this is what we have we'll just use it and make do with what we have so yeah that's it i kind of applied it a little lower than i want to i might have to, I, I don't know this is like probably the right spot but i kind of went here it's okay so we're gonna be using this shade here it's not a very intense shade or anything like that very very look at that a very soft color absolutely any all skin tones can wear this highlighter shade i know it looks so light but it's baked and everybody can use this shade guys I'm telling you such a i feel nars cheek palette is something you can actually truly you know i don't know invest in although it's not like crazy expensive like designer price or anything like that but seriously they are so good so so good so let's finish this eye look with uh this makeup look with this uh, bite beauty uh power move crayons this is called this is in the shade a size smash where are you Mirror? things just disappear run away from me whenever I do an eye look so and I feel it might really very tropical I feel I could go with like a very nude like look but I don't know like a purple purple green um, bluish purple and yellow I don't know they all kind of give a very tropical vibe I really like it yeah this is the finished look hope you guys like this video hope you guys enjoy this tutorial uh, do you play spotted the game uh, let me know down below and then what about the lipsticks what do you guys think about the lipsticks are you gonna try them out are you gonna buy them or you want to wait for a sale whatever it is let me down uh let me down below let me know down below in the comment section youtube loves it and i adore it when you guys interact with me give this video a thumbs up if you liked watching it and also subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you guys very soon